Hello, YouTube. I'm M, and I'm M too. But you can address me on YouTube as number three. So this channel is going to be used for any film productions we make, or just books and book reviews and anything about books. We went in June to a thrift store and got a 25 books. So we have 21 here. The other four are somewhere else with someone else. And the books we got are used, unfortunately, but they're in amazing condition, condition since most of them came from libraries. libraries. So and these libraries weren't just in the United States where we live. They came from like Canada and England and Australia. So that's pretty cool. We get um, a, di a diversity of different books. One of the books that we got was Lee Pike Ridge, and it's by Andy Wilson. Apparently, it's an 11 year old who goes under the ridge that he lives on, and it's like water in there, I think. And inside, he finds I'm just reading the back. It says a corpse, a dog, a flashlight, a castaway, crawdads. Four graves, a tomb, and buried treasure. The next book we got was Alex and the Ironic Gentleman by Adrian Press. Press. Yeah. This, it says it's about a girl named Alex, and her teacher is a really fun teacher this year. And then he gets kidnapped by pirates, and Alex must go save him. Our next book is... Lucas by Kevin Brook. This, I, it's about a girl named Galen and she meets a boy named Lucas and Lucas is everything she wants, Kate, that Caitlin wants him to be. Brave, honest, and free. And a lot of people, and he's also everything the people around her fear the most. So next we're gonna do The O.C. The Misfit. I don't know if this is the first in the series. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's the first in the series. And it's about a boy named Seth. And he's grown up among rich kids. but And he's always been the geek, the misfit of everybody. And then suddenly, two girls like him. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> the next book is Rules of the Road by Joan. Fire? Bar? Bar? Something, something like that. It says by the author of Squash, if any of you know what that is. It's about a girl named Jenna Baller, and she can sell anything to anybody, especially shoes. And But she has hard family problems. So the next book is The Mismantle. Mm -hmm. Chronicles Book 1, Urchin of the Writing. Virgin of the Writing Stars by M. I. McAllister. This one? It's like a rodent on the front. Yeah. It is about a squirrel that is about to die on a beach and is found and adopted and raised by a welcoming colony of animals. And it's about like, it's a fantasy, of course. It's about like villains and defeating villains and stuff. So the next one is South Beach by Amy Fr Friendman? Friedman? 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 Yes. Um, this year, spring break is going to be Scandal. So, this how it looks. This, I think, is the only book. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can. Well, it has like... It has a little bit of coloring on the front. Like, I think right here, it belonged it, to somebody because yeah. it didn't come from the library. That's all I know. It doesn't have any of the stickers, it doesn't have anything, so it must have been somebody's. And it says, at the back it says, hot sand, hot clubs, hot guys. What more could two girls want? Try the same guy. So it's about two girls and they like the same guy. The next book is Sun Signs by Shelly. I'm sorry, oh. Shelly, I cannot say your last name. We'll put it in the description in case I who can pronounce it, and I'm sorry that we don't know it. Lit. I am really excited to read this book because it's about mainly astrology, and it is told through email. So there's not really an actual like 
plot. Like, well, there's, it, there's a plot, but it's not like an actual story. It's like emails sent back and forth between people, which seems really cool because I've never seen a book like that before. It's about a girl named Kaylee or Callie Wise, and she's unable to attend, attend school because she has cancer. And so her online science teacher um, instructs them to do a science project, and so she starts doing a project on astrology. And so she asks some of the other online students to help her out with it. One is, you might not be able to read it, but because it has a library sticker. Yeah, but it's called The Time of the Ghost by Diana Wynne Jones. Mm -hmm. And it's about a girl and she turns up as a ghost one day and she doesn't know how and she doesn't know like anything until she finds her family and then she knows that someone is about to die. So this is replayed by Sharon Creech. It says all the world's a stage. What part will you play? And it's about Leo and he dreams to be on Broadway and his noisy big family makes him feel like a sardine washed in a tin. But, and Leo has to figure out like what he, like, what part to play. It, it's, it's, it's like, it's like a metaphor, yeah. So what he, where he belongs. Uh -huh. So our next is, belongs, close, falling over. Never sit down in a hoop skirt. Mm -hmm. And, it's really awesome. And it's by, Cricket Rumley. Cricket Rumley. So, awesome. And it's about a girl named Jane, and she is a bad girl. Let's just say that. And so she wins like a pageant and becomes one of those, like they call it a Southern Belle. And she has to wear like those big frilly dresses and stuff. And it's just about her and her experiences. She's more of a rebel. Okay, so the next one we got was Among the Imposters by Margaret Peterson Haddix. And it's about a boy who is an imposter and he doesn't want people to report him so he has to like do all this crazy stuff. Which is really awesome. And the next book that we have is Jumpman Rule 1, Don't Touch Anything by James Valentine. And it's about a boy who comes from the future in the year 15 billion 73 and he wins a contest and gets like this uh, time traveling machine and it breaks so he's stuck in the 21st century so it's like modern with futuristic stuff this book we got is called fire in the heart by lisa ketchum liza liza ketchum i thought that was an ass liza ketchum Murrow. okay it's about a girl who we accidentally reads a letter addressed to her father about her dead mother. So, mm, looks awesome. And then she she meets this boy, a pen pal, and it's like romance, I guess, sort of integrated in history. She seems cool. This is Until Angels Close My Eyes by Lillian McDaniel. Mm -hmm. It's about a girl who thinks her battle with cancer is done, but her stepfather gets cancer, and it's the third book, I think. The third of the second book in the series. I'll have to look up that, look that up. And <laughs> she visits an Amish town to see, like, her boyfriend who she met in the hospital. And yeah, so and then Ethan comes to visit, comes to live with them, and quick school. So this is also by Lily Daniel. It's called Brianna's Gift. And this one is about a girl who um, runs away with an older boy and she understands, like, um, her sister, I suppose, understand what the mom is trying to tell, has been trying to tell them, and Brianna, her sister, gets ill, and so, looks cool. So the next book is, you might not be able to see because it's covered, but it's called Ellen's Book of Life. And it's by, oh, it's by Joanne Gwyn. Gwyner? Gwyner? I don't know, the font is yeah. like cursive. It's like cursive font. And it's kind of hard to So if you know it, can you like put it, uh, how to pronounce yeah. it? It's Sorry. about a girl, it doesn't really say. I don't know. 
she it's about a girl who at the at, when she's having like a difficult summer she decides to search for her biological mother. Next one is the Education of Bet by Lauren Bratz Logston. This one is about a girl named Elizabeth or aka Bet and she it takes place in the um, 19th century England. So she wants to get an education, but she can't, so she dresses up as a boy to get an education. Which looks... So the next one is Blue Like Friday by. Oh, it's Oh. Let's see if I can see the name. Oh. I <laughs> wish I didn't find it now. Sorry? Saibhan? Saiyopan? I don't Parkinson? Parkinson. She wrote other books, like Something Invisible and Second Fiddle. Mm -hmm. I think I read that. This is about a girl or a boy. It says it has two names. And they when um a boy named Hal doesn't like her mother, his mother's boyfriend, so they try him and Olivia try to get rid of her and decide and then like have to go through all these obstacles, obstacles until they find out if it was really a good idea. Not right. so the next book is, is Finding Grace by Alyssa Bregman. This actually takes place in Australia, which is awesome because it like talks about Australia and blah blah blah. And we've it's, never been to Australia. Yes, we've so never been anywhere cool. besides uh, United States and Mexico, so awesome. It's about a girl named Rachel. She graduates from high school and is offered a job to help a mentally ill woman. Brain injured. Yeah, is. brain injured woman, and she kind of digs into the woman's past and tries to see what happened, like what's wrong, what she was like before. So, last but not least, is the Misfits. And earlier we had one called like. The Misfit. So yeah, so. It's kind of weird. <laughs> By James Howe. And um, on the back, it just says sticks and stones may break our bones, but names will break our spirit. Cool. So, and it has a whole bunch of names. Like fairy, loser, geek, people, that so. That so. But other than that, it doesn't really give a description about what So, I'm kind of curious about what it will be about. But we want first. Okay, <laughs> so. so Thank you, and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and comment. Subscribe. Comment for us down below. We'll leave all the stuff in the description. So, so we will see you all next time for our first review. No one downs for you. No one. I'm not going down.